we have come to worship you. We pray that as we go in to worship you, we pray that the Holy Spirit will direct these our sons. So that people that will hear us, they will be edified. And we ourselves, O God, we will be built up, rooted in you, and that our lives will never be the same. We are God to you as the people that are with. We know that as we worship you this morning, you will make us come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we come and ask the Lord of Jesus, and we pray that the greatest will go before us. Thank you, Father, for this service. Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The procession is come, is come for.
on the second Sunday in Lent. May the good Lord bless you as you partake in this worship in Jesus' name. A great prophet has risen among us. God has visited his people. Bless the Lord who forgives our sins. The Lord has visited the Lord of God. The Lord has Who are penitent 
create and make in us new and contrite hearts that lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, we may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect forgiveness and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please sit for the Old Testament reading. It's taken to the book of Isaiah, chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53. Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and not as a root out of dry ground. He has no form of comeliness. And when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we he, as it were, are persons from him. He was despised and we did not esteem him. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteem him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was grieved for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before his shearers in silence. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And then he who will declare his generation. For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people, he was stricken. And they made his grave with the wicked, but to the rich of his death, because he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to praise him. He has put him to grief. When you make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his sin, he shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the level of his soul and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous son shall justify me, for he shall bear their liberties. Therefore, I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide his poor with the strong, because he poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with transgressors. And he bore the sins of many and many possession for the transgressors. This is the word of the Lord. The epistle is written in the epistle of John, first epistle of John, chapter 3. First John. Chapter 3. The Father has loved us so much that we are called children of God. And we are really are His children. The reason for the people in the world do not know us is that they have not known Him. Dear friends, now we are children of God and uh, we have not yet been shown what we will be in the future. But we know that when Christ comes again, we will be like Him because we will see Him as He really is. Christ is pure and all who have the
this hope in Christ, give themselves pure like Christ. The person who says brings God's love, yes, sin is living against God's love. You know that Christ came to take away sins and that there is no sin in Christ. Do not let anyone leave you the wrong way. Christ is all that is right. So to be like Christ, our person must do what is right. The devil has been sinning since the beginning. So anyone who continues to sin belongs to the devil. The Son of God came for this purpose, to destroy the devil's work. Those who are God's children do not continue sin because the new life of God remains in them. They are not able to go on sin because they have become children of God. So we can see who God's children are and who the devil's children are. Those who do not know what is right are not God's children. And those who do not love their brothers and sisters are not God's children. Peace in the world and the world. Peace in the world.
Frau Ottoman, haben das Wahlkommens? If she loses one coin, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it. And when she has found it, she calls her friends and neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I lost. Likewise, I say to you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God. Over one son who repents. This is the gospel of God. Let 
Jesus from his labor of sin, giving him to be born as man and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to the right hand of man. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who was in every way tempted as we are, yet did not see, by whose grace we are able to triumph over every evil and to live no longer unto ourselves, but unto Him. Through Him, therefore, with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and singing. Amen. Uh -huh. 